the network's question based upon IP addressing. We have been given the routing table of an organization in which we are having the subnet number, subnet mask and the next hop for each subnet. Now, for which of the following prefixes in CIDR notation can we collectively be used to, in order to aggregate all of the subnets in the routing table? So basically they are saying that we have these subnets, let us call them P, Q, R, S, T. How can we combine all these subnets together, which means how can we supernet them in such a way that we can use a single CIDR notation for all of them, which means we will having some address and slash notation with which we will be able to include all of them together. So now for this, let us first have a look at the addresses we are having. The first two octets are same for all of them. Last octet is also same. They are differing in their third octets. So let us convert them into their binary representation for the third octet. 164, 170, 168 and the 166. We are not actually concerned with the default one because it is already uh, inclusive in the supernet which we will be forming. So we will be converting this 164, it will become 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2 and 1. For 170 it will be 101, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2 1 and this will be 32 16 8 4 2 and 1 so now in order to combine them together what we can do is let us also have a look at their subnet mask this one is 252 and the remaining ones are 254 so this one is basically slash 22 because it will be having six ones followed by two zeros in its third octet so that will sum up to first 16 from the first two octets and then six from this one so it's slash 22 and the remaining ones are slash 23 notations uh, determining how many number of bits from the third octet we are including in the network id part so for this P, Q, R and S. For the subnet P, we are including first 6 bits and for the remaining ones, we are having first 7 bits inclusive in the NID part. So now if we were to combine them all together, then the common pattern which we can see in all of them is that the first 4 bits are same in all of them and they are differing from the 5th bit onwards. So very broadly we can say that they all can be represented commonly as 12.20. What do these four bits give? 128 and 32. So 160 dot 0 and slash 16 plus these four. So slash 20. So this is a very rough estimation which will include all of them combined into one supernet and we'll be able to identify them all. But the problem with this one is that it is very much imprecise. It also includes those addresses which are not the part of this network. So we need to be a little more precise and see what can be done. So let us first have a look at the interfaces subnets Q and R. In this we can see that first six bits are same and the last two bits are different. So these two can be combined together to give 12.20 dot what is the value of these first six bits 160 plus oh this is 8 so 168 dot 0 and slash because we have included six bits so it will become slash 22 so these two can be combined to give this address and now looking at the subnets p and s even they are having their first six bits are same they are also differing in their seven bits so these two can be combined together to give 12 dot 20 dot what is the value of their first six bits it is 160 plus 4 164 dot zero and because we have included six bits it will be slash 22 so this is how we can combine interfaces or you can say the subnets p and s together and with this one we combine q and r together and if we try to combine again these two subnets together, then it will give us something like this.
which is very much imprecise so we will continue with these two options itself and both of them are there as options b and d so that will be the correct answer